Namaste brothers and sisters, this is Jen and um, Jen Matahari G and I feel inspired to uh, come and make this video um, because I've been sent a question and uh, the question is Dear Jen, please could you speak about what is ascension and how ascension relates to twin flames and could you speak about the current energetics that are occurring? And this was sent to me by um, someone who I've connected through the YouTube channel, which I just want to say, like, I'm so happy that that we're finally here and showing up for this conversation. And um, I'm so happy that I'm really enjoying this process and I'm really enjoying connecting with a whole new like world of paradigm of people, because really before it was just... Um, it was just Facebook, really, that, that I, you know, people knew me, and now just opening up to this whole new arena of um, of connections with Soul Family. And thank you so much, for, like for all the amazing new subscribers. Bless you, blessings. Thank you so much, and um, thank you to everyone who's uh, making really beautiful comments and sending me beautiful emails and booking onto the transmission, and you know, really getting involved with all the MP3s. And yeah, this is really exciting, and I just wanna just wanna say thank you so much and um, yeah uh, and I'm really looking forward to talking more about the solstice uh, gateway and what what that's all about and um, yeah so so welcome everyone uh, this is you know um, you know this is all new for me as well and showing up and learning learning the tricks of the trade and trying to actually oh yes remembering I've got to speak louder because people can't hear me but you know all that's going on so you know I'm gonna I'm gonna speak louder um, with my message and really really take on board um, you know like the fact that that, that, that people have called that out and are, you know, owning that, that I as the Divine Feminine are choosing now to speak more loudly and to really allow my voice to be heard. So, um, so yeah, so yeah, I'm sure you can all hear me. I mean, my God, this is an iPhone 7. This is like, you can't, this is so such a good recorder. You should be able to hear me now, beautiful brothers and sisters and family of light. Anyway, so um, let's let's just go in and answer this question and, and the whole message will come through through the question. Dear Jen, please could you speak about what is ascension and how ascension relates to twin flames and could you speak about the current energetics that are occurring? So um, yeah, I, I, I'm, so, I'm really glad that you know we're, we've, we're getting to address this question at um, a kind of like an early stage in, in our ongoing relationship with all these you know beautiful new subscribers and people that are you know getting to know me and connecting with this channel so we may as well have this conversation about what is ascension and you know and obviously I can only speak about from my own personal perspective but I, I can also say that um, the perspective that I have is not like it's not just me who has it like it is <laughs> anyway anyway it, it, you know this is a perspective and you have to you have to decide whether that resonates with you and if that resonates with you you'll feel your a little heart flutter and uh, you'll be like yeah yeah I know that I know that so if it resonates even if it doesn't then it doesn't doesn't resonate for you and um, you know anyway so ascension Okay, so when I talk about um, ascension, I can only again I can only talk about from my own personal experience of ascension, and um, you know, for myself, it was a little bit unusual because I had a very, very, very powerful spiritual awakening at age twenty-one in, in India, where I definitely, you know, my third eye opened, saw God everywhere, um, and you know, could had full access to the Akashic records went into a state of full, absolute, complete and utter bliss um, for, for at least six months. Um, and then obviously came back to England and, you know, and, and um, integrated that, that Kundalini awakening. And so, but then it wasn't until like, you know, 18 years later that I met my, um, I connected with my true twin flame on the inner planes of consciousness. And, um, and basically when I like, something happened and my third eye opened to the knowing and actually seeing my beloved before me and it, it came to me in the form of a vision and you know and I've shared this in, in my other videos but like you know when I initially saw who my twin flame was I was I was like you like like really like really surprised actually that it was him of all all beings but before I even you know could even think that we we had 
you know, we basically just like magnetised to each other and started dancing and spinning up and down Glastonbury Tour. Um, so, so yeah. Anyway, so, like, oh, you know, basically, from that moment, like, what I would say to you is that, from my own experience of Ascension, was that when I actually genuinely met my twin flame, and I saw my, um, my twin flame, and really, really knew that it was him, this was like a, like a combination lock, like, it was like my pineal gland, and my pituitary gland and higher heart they'd kind of you know they'd sort of well they weren't really open to that knowing of of that remembrance of the eternal divine union and so that moment when I saw my twin flame and I remembered it was him it was like this combination lock um like just kind of like fitted into the hard drive of my of my computer and it, it unlocked all of the codes of remembrance that were stored in my pineal gland. And so in that moment, I, I experienced another awakening. But I would say it was at this moment that I experienced uh, the ascension of my consciousness, truly. Um, because in that moment of recognition of my divine twin flame, I absolutely awoken to the knowing that, that my consciousness is running concurrently on um, a vast multitude of dimensional realities and timelines and I so I and I met the fifth dimensional aspect of myself and she was like hi Jen oh, hi yeah I've always been here you know having a really great time and uh, wow so cool like you've realized we're here you know met the 5d self met, met the 6d self but just the absolute knowing that that I am a multi-dimensional being and that my ascension lies in the knowing of who I am and the fact that I am I am God I am God's daughter and um, and so you know um, so so yeah your your, your consciousness I mean, it, it's very very I'll say it's highly multi um, faceted as well um, the ascension of one's consciousness because you like for myself it was all about ascending to to Christ consciousness like and Christ consciousness is a frequency that is within all of us um, and so like in the moment of ascension of one's consciousness you align with that which is Christ consciousness. Uh, that is ascension, um, and that is in all of us, and we all hold that frequency of Christ consciousness. We are all equal. We are all God's children. We are all loved equally. There is no hierarchy. God does not have any favourite children. Absolutely no way on this earth. We are all equal. We are all the Christ self, and all the ascension is, is the knowing and the remembrance of that I am the Christ self, I am the eternal self, I am the divine, I am the holy self. Um, you know, and, and that is when your, your consciousness is ascended. So ascension is the remembrance uh, of who you are as a divine, eternal, um, Christed being. So that's my interpretation of ascension and my experience of ascension. Um, so let's talk about now how ascension relates to twin flames. So, well, we've kind of covered that, haven't we? <laughs> like, because how it relates is that, you know, your soul, my soul could not truly ascend until I saw and recognised the identity of my twin flame. Because in that moment of seeing his face in the context of that knowing, this is what was the, the, the combination lock that was needed to, to unlock the full and absolute um, highest codes of, of, you know, of self-mastery within the self, the awakening to the I am presence, the awakening to the self. So twin flame and ascension are interrelated. They are one thing. Like you, you cannot be um, like, really they're one. And that's the whole, that, that's what kind of like confuses me because not a lot of teachers like have ever mentioned like 
Have they? I mean, maybe they have. I'm sorry. I, I take that back. But a lot of the spiritual teachers um, and, and, the, and a lot of the, the, the Twin Flame teachers that I've met don't don't bring it together. Like the fact that like, you know, it's an automatic byproduct. Ascension is an automatic byproduct of um of union of the of the uh, activation of the hieroscamos the inner alchemical union um that that takes place and that knowing and that hieroscamos can get triggered um by a song by a conversation um by a picture of your twin by the knowing of your twin as in my case that that was activated through the remembrance and the knowing of my twin flame which was that the thing that you know released um released all the um oh see, okay. I, I have to talk loudly because people can't hear me Sorry, why? I've got, I've got um, four pounds and 20p. Yes, so Ascension and Twin Flames. Not, not a lot of people are talking about it. And um, the message that I've really, really, like I actually feel that this is a huge part of my mission is to um, speak about the inseparability of Ascension and Twin Flame union and recognition. And um, that is the whole purpose of Twin Flames. Like, Twin Flames, we come back to Earth to remember each other, remember our sacred, divine, holy, eternal union. And in that knowing and in that remembrance, that activates the ascension of our consciousness. And so we have come back to be in that frequency, in that ascension frequency, through the, the journey and the manifestation of bringing the template of true love back to humanity's consciousness. Um, yeah, so it's it, it's really important that that you know we start talking about this and also how this relates. None of this could happen without without the I am presence. And the I am presence is is the self, is is the eternal self, that that's who I am. And, you know, how does one awaken to the I am presence? This is the actual real question that we need to be asking, you know. And I come forth with a, a solution that worked for myself to awaken to the I am presence. And that is to, whenever I naturally remember to do so, just stop thinking. Stop thinking and bring my awareness to the present moment and feel the carpet under my toes and look at the wallpaper and just bring my consciousness back to the present moment. That is my spiritual practice. And this, uh, this is such a, an important practice to remain steady in the Ascension um, template, in the Ascension timeline. Um, because in the Ascension timeline, all that has existed within the shadow self must come up and be met by the light. You know, so it is a very, very intense process. So you need to be anchored and resting in the knowing of your I am presence, that which observes the, the temporary display, the phenomena. I am that which observes. And so, you know, the, the, it, it, you cannot, you cannot stabilise in an ascension um, frequency if you are still getting pulled and swayed by these 3D um, perceptions, you know, and it's like that there, there has to be an element of your consciousness which is absolutely present and which is unwavering and which is eternally observing. You know, and this is absolutely crucial for ascension and this is crucial for twin flame union. And that and I feel that is my job as a messenger, teacher, whatever you want to call me, is to actually bring these three aspects of of, you know, awakening to the divine self, uniting with the twin flame and full, full and absolute self-realization, you know, and full ascension of, of, of one's consciousness and grounding that and anchoring that. Um, yeah, I really, really feel that is that is a big part of my mission that we need to be talking about that. And um, so, so basically, the message is, is is rest as awareness for short moments. Make commit to that practice. Commit to that practice to just jump off the thought train. So important, brothers and sisters. Like really, really, like you know, there, there's big, big energy coming through, and this leads to the next bit. Could you speak about the current energetics? 
there's really, really massive um, influx of gamma ray activity taking uh, place right now and peaking at the time of solstice and opening up a portal, a massive ascension portal. So in those, it, you know, we must, it must be spoken that in those times, like your higher self will very often bring up a long forgotten and long hidden part of your shadow self um, in order for you to bring that aspect home, meet it with divine presence and, and alchemize it back into the, um, the Christ itself. So this, this will be going on for a lot of beloved. So um, I guess, I guess, okay, I've brought through an amazingly powerful technique to alchemize the shadow and I haven't turned it into an MP3, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this alchemical process into an MP3 so that all of you can have that support during this gateway to, um, to actually clear the shadow stuff. And I just wanna actually give you a little example about like how I, how I really really saw this and what it was was that I uh, I think it was about a week ago I I've had a little bit of a um, kind of meeting with the uh, you know with, with the sort of like the police forces in the terms of I got a ticket I got six points on my license last August um, which I really really turned around and saw to be an amazing gift and that was a whole another story about another amazing miracle but anyway about a week ago I I got I, anyway I was meant to get 12 but I didn't I manifested getting six and anyway so I'd let that go and a year and a half later there I get another um, speeding ticket and I'm like oh my god why did I manifest this how could I have manifested this into my reality and I felt pissed off with the universe with God that that I had manifested this into my reality but at the end of the day I sat down and I and I wrote in my journal and I channeled a message from my higher self um, and what they showed me was that 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 this whole um, kind of like meeting with that sort of like you know very controlling masculine energy which I, I notoriously have been fighting my whole life or, or battling. I'll be like, oh, come on, then. like, you know, energetically, there's been a, you know, a, a, a dance between me and that energy. Um, and so I saw that it had come up again. And what I, what I, what I, what I noticed this time was that it was showing me parts of my consciousness that 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 would ha were holding on quite tightly to a belief that that I am out of control and that that I'm not safe in this world and um and it wasn't very long before I was very very grateful for getting that um get getting that speeding fire because it it gave me that opportunity to meet that that aspect of myself who was she was really afraid so yeah, uh, you know, and so I met her, and um, and and I alchemized her home back to love, um, and I knew in that moment that I'd absolutely transformed the energy of that speeding ticket, and of course I got the letter confirming that you know I I, I won't get I'm not going to get any points on my license, and divine grace has it has of course intervened, and that's what happens when we when we you know when we see. And, and for myself, it had to be, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty far along my path. And so I wasn't conscious of that, that aspect that needed, be, needed to be met and needed to be alchemized. So my higher self had to activate a, um, a moment within my timeline to bring up and, and to make me conscious of those aspects of myself, of my shadow self. So that is what happened. And I met her. And, and we alchemized and she came home and this is what we all need to be doing like because you know the universe is showing me that as these these things are occurring for myself I'm you know I have a certain connection with the collective but as there are I, I, I'm that the universe shows me what's going on through with the collective through what's going on with myself and so so brothers and sisters as we're hitting this intense activated light um, ray uh, gamma ray infusion it's really, really important that you have tools available to alchemize your shadow aspect um, back into the light of your of your divine Christ itself. And I have brought through this amazing, well, I haven't brought through it yet, but I'm gonna bring through an amazing MP3 activation. And this is what I do with like many of the people that come to me for sessions, I do it with myself. In fact, I'm actually gonna be doing a whole course, gonna be running a whole course on this 
like you know to and I actually want to do a course on how to um, working with the facilitators like with the coaches and with the teachers so that they can work with this process because this is so powerful and I, 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 I always talk about this like and in, all, in my other videos this is when I'm talking about the um, you know life is a game of Pac-Man because it is because like you know you're going along your level and um, and basically you see these gold coins and this is when you eat those gold coins and that is when actually what that you receive those gold coins when you meet your shadow self with love with presence and you you alchemize that um that energy that had been in the darkness had been hidden ashamed unexposed and you bring that back um to the light and and then that makes you more beautiful, it makes you more radiant, it makes you more powerful, it makes you more clear, it makes you more aligned and it upgrades your frequency brothers and sisters. So uh, that's the message about what's going on within this particular gateway. There's a lot going on and there's going to be a lot of clearing of shadow. So I hope people find me, you know, like this is a really important conversation that we're having and these, these are really important tools for these times. And I'm really noticing that actually my voice feels quite strained because I really have been speaking quite loudly. And, um, but that's okay. Uh, you know, I'm, obviously I'm having some sort of process with speaking loudly and stepping up as the divine um, feminine. <sighs> so, so yeah, what's going on with the current energies at the moment is that we're about to hit another um, ascension portal and what this means is that we the earth is shifting on her axes more and more ever 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 succinctly and ever coming to into alignment with galactic central the center of the, the galaxy where all the god particles the photonic light particles pour forth from the center of the galaxy and so we are ever, ever, ever aligning with that. And then we, we hit certain upgraded portals and this is what's going on. Now, with regards to the twin flame divine um, mysteries, I wanna say, I would say that um, there's a lot of changes that are taking place, particularly for the masculine twin flames. They are being woken up by their higher selves who is no longer tolerating a, a half-baked, half-dreamed, half-fulfilled life, you know. So this is what's going on. And um, so for the divine masculine, I would, I would just say that there is a reason why your heart has the messages that it has. And that is because your heart is the, the GPS system that will take you and deliver you to your destiny. So, um, dearest Divine Masculine, my advice is to listen to your heart and to follow the guidance of your heart and trust that everyone in your life will benefit from you benefiting. Whatever you benefit from is going to have a positive effect on everyone in your life. Dearest Divine Masculine. Um, and let's just see, there's a lot of twin flame recognition going on. These are twin flame recognition gateways. And we've just come out of a big one and there's been a huge wave of twin flame recognition. We're entering another one. So, um, yeah. It's, it's really, really important times and that's why I'm coming out in the open and I'm just sharing these powerful tools, these ascension tools um, to, to assist in the collective consciousness to fully and absolutely stabilise in, um, in these higher uh, ascension light frequencies that are pouring in. Um, and I'm, I'm feeling to share a prayer through the, um, through the um, sacred pipe. And um, I just ask you now just to take a moment and just to really hold an intention in your heart. And we're just going to send out this prayer, um, you know, that may, may all of the forces align to support this manifestation of this intention swiftly and with great ease.
there we go brothers and sisters so yeah that's just a little you know share about um about ascension and about twin flames and uh really really beautiful to connect with you um so yeah please sign up for the solstice transmission i'm really really calling now for the light tribe together the bird tribe together to anchor this energy to support mother earth and to support our star brothers and sisters particularly the syrian star council who are very specifically working with the grid um with the earth grid to you know assist in the awakening of the mass collective consciousness there's huge work going uh, you know there's like this what's it there's like engineering there's like ascension engineering that's taking being taken place by the syrian council and they really really need us to show up as the awakened earth ground crew so i'm sending this message to the tribe like come and join come and join this amazing tribe this amazing community and um, it's on the 20th of June 2017 at 2.22 p.m. UK time, calling you forward, brothers and sisters, to come and be on your, on your grid points. And please, like, you know, there is an energy exchange to, um, to take part, but I am really open to all suggestions um, for exchanging that energy. Please know that and no one is ever turned away in, um, everyone is welcome to come and to join the Sacred Tribe, our, our really beautiful Facebook group that is um, bringing a lot of healing and recalibration to a lot of the brothers and sisters in the group and really opening up and extending extending uh, our family uh, now. So yeah, please, um, so basically I'll put the link to, to book onto the transmission below and I'll let you all know when I bring through this MP3 of like alchemizing the shadow self. It's really, really important. And um, just to say, I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being on this amazing journey. I'm really, really loving uh, showing up on YouTube just as myself and um, just connecting with you all and just really, really opening and extending this soul family. Namaste. Dear ones, I have brought through a series of extremely powerful MP3 activations that have been designed to fast track you into full union with your beloved twin flame. Number one, meet the fifth dimensional aspect of your twin flame. Number two, meet and merge in the zero point field with your twin flame. Number three, the abundance MP3 activation. Number four, the self-worth MP3 activation. Number five, the Magdalene and Yeshua Divine Union MP3. Number six, heal and restore the Atlantis timeline. Number seven, the Violet Waterfall MP3. Number eight, the Inner Child Healing MP3. Number nine, Love Your Physical Body Reprogramming MP3 Number 10 Light Language Dispensation Number 11 Deep Relaxation MP3 Number 12 Balancing Giving and Receiving Number 13 Reviving the Frozen Garden of Your Heart Number 14 Source Frequency Activation And Number 15 angelic t-cell activation thank you so much for watching this video beloveds please like comment and subscribe many many blessings to you all namaste